You know that overwhelming feeling when life deals you a hand you never anticipated? I have been there. The pain, the despair, it can be all consuming. And while it can sometimes be easier to just crumble and fall apart, I thought why not deal with it in a slightly unconventional manner? Have you ever felt like your mind is just an unending episode of a terrible reality show and you desperately need the remote to switch it off? Enter the imaginary brain sponge technique. Picture this. Actually, don't picture this. Let me get a sponge. Now picture me trying to metaphorically erase my negative thoughts. Very silly. Hopefully nobody's watching me. But oddly, very helpful. After the scrubbing madness, here's the fun part. Once your brain has been cleaned of thought, you scribble back only the good stuff. Like when you're lying there thinking about your life's grim outlook, just hit a race. It sounds way too simple, but it actually really works. Erase and replace. When I found myself spiraling into a whirlwind of worst case scenarios, I would quickly replace those worst case scenarios with what if everything goes right? It may sound elementary, but for me it's been a lifeline. I even went to the lengths of using a Sharpie on my arm, writing I am healed, so that when the doctor went on with his doom and gloom prognosis, I would just flash my arm in the air so that I could read I am healed. And that muted the doctor's words. Fear is a weird beast. It's obviously sensible when you see a tiger. You wouldn't want to run up to that tiger and be like, oh hey. But when fear is a little more ambiguous, it can be a little less obvious and you may need another approach. For me, it was diving deep into research and finding out about the endothelial cell and how nitric oxide dilates our arteries and how the drugs were dilating my arteries and how vegetables could actually do the same thing. And I will get to the food protocol that helped save my life in a future episode. Next fear, side effects of post-transplant medication. Next action I took, researching how I could counteract the side effects of the medicine using food and supplements. To me, action is the antidote to fear. Like when you're about to dive into a freezing pool, hesitation won't help. Just jump in and soon enough you're swimming. Sometimes it's just doing something that pushes us forward, no matter how insane or impossible it may seem. Every time